A federal judge's son is shot and killed, and her husband is left in critical condition. This shooting comes just days after Salas was assigned to work a case linked to Jeffrey Epstein. A gunman arrived at the front door of this house. The door was opened by the son of uh, this judge, Judge uh, Esther Salas. And the gunman basically was wearing a FedEx uniform, not sure if it was a disguise or if he actually worked for FedEx, but then opened fire, killing the son and injuring uh, the uh, federal judge's husband. Investigators say Judge Salas was in the basement at the time of the shooting. She's the first Latina to serve on the federal bench in New Jersey, presiding over several high-profile trials, including the one of former Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Judice. But officials overnight said a motive remained unclear. They say the judge has received three threats in the past, but nothing recently. The judge had just recently presided over a lawsuit brought by Deutsche Bank investors that claimed that the company failed to monitor high-risk clients properly, including convicted sex offender, offender Jeffrey Epstein. And you can bet today that federal officials are going over all their cases to see if there's some kind of connection. We grew up together with the same school and everything, played baseball. It's sad to see him go. Maybe he was a decent kid, like, you know, Going to be a lawyer just like his dad did. His father, his father's a lawyer. This is an absolute shock. Just very good natured, wonderful people. So hopefully they'll be okay. And that's it. We love them very, very much. This was not a crime of opportunity. This was a premeditated attack. Think about how brazen this attack was. You could have, ta- you could have attacked the judge or her husband or the son at any location. This attacker went right to the front door. The fact that this was done in broad daylight, to me, is an indicator that the attacker had no fear of being caught. She was involved with the sentencing of a very notorious gang member in Newark, and most recently she was handed the uh, case that involved Deutsche Bank and its uh, handling of high-risk clients, including Jeffrey Epstein. Breaking news this hour. Officials say multimillionaire Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life. The 66-year-old was supposed to be checked on by guards every 30 minutes since he was taken off suicide watch late July. And that did not happen on the night of his death. Epstein was also supposed to be housed with a cellmate and not left alone. But he was left alone. Video of the cell exterior where Epstein first tried to end his life was sent to federal investigators and restored last week. But on Thursday, prosecutors said it's the wrong video. In a letter, federal prosecutors said the jail inadvertently preserved video from the wrong tier at the jail. And as a result, video from outside the defendant's cell no longer exists.